Tonight is August the 11th, 2017, and I'm going to attempt a video tonight on inner modulation distortion measurements. I've been asked about this several times. I've uh, scanned the uh, internet for uh, thoughts on it. I started out with this uh, book right here. This is my Bible, so to speak. And it suggested 40 hertz and 7 kilohertz for the ratio, voltage ratio of 4 to 1. Four times the uh, voltage for the 40 hertz as the 7 kilohertz. Well, some newer ones suggested 250 hertz and uh, 8 kilohertz. So I'm going to take the more modern ones. <coughs> and that's what I've done. I have uh, set up these two uh, SG505 oscillators right here. Let's scope in on them. I'm going to try to keep my these guys right here. I've got this one set up for 250 hertz and this one's set up for uh, 8 kilohertz. <coughs> Attenuators and everything. Got it perfect. Absolutely perfect. Uh, I've got this one set up for uh, a 0 dBm and it runs through a, uh, an attenuator right here. And I attenuate it uh, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I attenuated 2 dB. So that gives me a, a ratio of uh, 12 dB to 1. Or, this, one is, this one is 12 times, uh, 12 dB, goodness gracious, 12 dB greater than this one. That's a, that's a voltage ratio of 4 to 1. If you do uh, 20 times a log of uh, 4, you get 12 dB. So that's the way I've got it set up. And this right here, let's see here, let's go back out, whoops, wrong way, let's go back out here, I've got it all set up over here, going into uh, this little breakout box right here, what we're doing right now is testing what our, what our reference level is, and our, uh, our reference level is right up here at 0028. 0.0028%, that's IMD. I've got this guy in IMD mode. And, uh, fortunately, right here, I'm using um, Spectra Plus down here on the PC, and I'm using the uh, glare filter. Thanks to you guys for suggesting it. And this one's measuring 0023. So, actually, they, they're... Uh, they're agreeing with one another. There's our 250 hertz, and there's our 8 kilohertz. It says that when you mix them, these are, this can be apparently pretty much any lower frequency and then some higher frequency. And uh, they have to be not harmonically related. And there's no spurs in there. There's some little tiny ones right there. Maybe that's that 0028%. But uh, it, not, it starts out nice and clean. And, um, Nothing is overloaded like the front end of this guy or anything else. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is put it into a little homemade amplifier that I have that I've shown a number of times. I like this thing. I listen to it just about all the time that I'm out here. It's a very simple little amp. It does a grand 10 watts. has a pair of 6 B4s and they are hot. A couple of 6SN7, 5U4. It uses a... Um, a James output transformer. Actually a really nice sound little lamp. Uh, low power stuff, but uh, I, I like the sound of triodes for some odd reason. Now if somebody did a blind test on me and had me listen to uh, 6L6s and EL34s and triodes and all this kind of stuff, I'm sure I wouldn't be able to know the difference. But uh, knowing the difference, I, I just I like it. Anyhow, let's, uh, let's get started here and see what it does. Now, I've got we're going to be looking at a watt meter. I'd like to look at everything at once, but I don't think you can see everything at once. I just don't think I can... Well, I can show you two things at once, it looks like. Uh, one is going to be... Um, well, let's see. Actually, we can go up here and maybe look at these two guys right here. Let's get as close as we can without getting too... Without, there we go. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is power right here. Power in watts across 8 ohms. And this is IMD right here. So, let's start cranking it up. 
and uh, whoops, and we'll see here. See, it's 0.2026 watts right now. But then that's that's just straight out of the uh, oscillators. Okay, I'm gonna. I'll show you here. I'm gonna plug it into this little 6B4 amplifier. And um, let's see. Let's switch our load. I'll show you the loads here and all that stuff in just a minute. And then we'll crank it up to. Uh, uh, oh yeah, I've got to put the load on it over here. No, you can't see all this. I'll, I'll show you again in just a second. There we go. You see the power That's a quarter of a watt at 0.1 percent. Let's go up to a whole watt. There's a watt, 0.2 percent. Looks pretty good so far, huh? Let's look down here. We have to move. We have to move around quite a bit, and um, not moving my camera around. Uh, manually is a little bit more trouble. Okay, that's at 0.2%. Let's see what this guy looks like. I have an amplifier. Ha! Well, the amplifier adds quite a few things to it, doesn't it? Holy moly. Yeah, we got 60 hertz and 120 hertz and a whole bunch of other stuff. But the, these things are added in there, I think, because, I don't know, we got some other harmonics out here, so it's starting to generate some stuff. This one says it's 0.03%. The other one says it's uh, 0.2. I tend to believe the Tektronics. Uh, don't pay attention to, that, to the THD down here. That one's you know, obviously going to be crazy. Uh, but at least it is showing us some spectral display of it, so... Wow. The Empire adds a lot of things to it, doesn't it? I almost wish we didn't have to see all this stuff down here. We could just see uh, what's related to 250 and 8 kilohertz mixing. But we can't. So let's go back over here to uh, these guys right here. And I'll just move back out just a little bit. And I think that these are the ones we probably ought to listen, or listen to. The ones we ought to pay attention to. One watt at the top, 1.006 watts, that's 0.2 percent. Let me turn this off and see if that makes things better. Or if that puts us in the dark. That puts us in the dark, doesn't it? Let me get light in here. Let's try that, okay? Let's run it up to say 1 percent. Whatever. I'm watching the percent instead of the uh, power. Looks like it looks like to me it's doing pretty good. There's one percent at four and a half watts. I guess uh, one percent IMD is not too bad. If you look on the sides of the old Mac amps, they uh, they say it's always less than a half percent IMD from uh, any combination of frequency between twenty and twenty kilohertz. So I guess it's not too bad. I don't know. Let's look at the spectral display. That's probably going to be pretty horrifying. Well, I didn't want to do that. We got to start this thing again. Right? Wow. I don't know how to interpret that. It says it's 0 0.17. See right here? 0.17%. Our Tektronix says it's 1%. This thing right here does very good 5 kilohertz and below. Above that, uh, every, all the readings on it seem to always be uh, much too low. For whatever reason, I don't know. I don't know if it's the Spectra Plus. I don't know if it's my uh, uh, USB sound card. Everybody that's seen my uh, equipment before knows all that. This is the sound card I'm using. It's a uh, Behringer. It's a 24-bit. This guy right here. So the uh, this is the audio input to it, and then the output of this thing is a USB, right? USB into the uh, into the PC, and uh, everything is loaded into these 1% uh, 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 low inductance. Uh, dummy loads up there. There's two that are identical. 
So, uh, and then they come over here to this breakout box right here. This is where the output of the 8 ohm one comes into. And then this just feeds everything. It feeds the, uh, the oscilloscope, the, the distortion analyzer, the watt meter, everything. So that's what that's all about. Okay. Now, with that said, let's go to another amplifier. Let's go to this little Mac amp right here. Okay, it's already, it's already set up. Got to switch loads. We pull out the uh, drive and plug it into there. And I'll be, I'll be cranking this up right here. And then we'll go back over there to about the same thing. I think we went up to about the five watt level. And let's look at it on the Mac and see if, see if we really see much difference. Can't pay any attention to that percentage there when it's when it's so low. It's just noise. Okay. Let's see. Let's run up there. There's a watt and a half, so it's 0 0.6. See, it really doesn't do any better, does it? It's one percent at uh, four watts. We get up to. It doesn't it doesn't seem to be increasing very rapidly. 12 watts, 18 watts, 26 watts, still at 1%, 33 watts, it says it's gone up to 10%. I don't even believe that. I'm, I'm just not really sure where to go with this. I don't really believe it. And the reason I don't believe it is because I have two amplifiers out here that perform just miraculously, and at least I thought they did. Maybe I, maybe it, it's telling me the truth. I don't know, but uh, it's saying that IMD on this one is ten percent. This is a little amplifier that I've built a long time ago that uses a uh, Macintosh output transformer right there. It's uh, the the exact build out of an MA two thirty amplifier, so it's rated thirty watts and do good forty. Before it gets up to even 1% THD, but its IMD is pretty much the same as all the rest of them. So I'm not sure if I've actually proven anything tonight or not, but I think I'm going to go ahead and post this so you guys can look at it. Tell me if I'm doing something really stupid. I don't, I, I got the I got the 250 hertz and the 8 kilohertz correct. I got the uh, uh, voltage ratios correct. Uh, and you can see that the, um, you know, plugged, plugged straight in to the um, breakout box, uh, we have very, very low IMD, so it looks like to me, we can plug that thing back in there, straight in to the breakout box, since our IMD it's just uh, incredibly low, which what we would expect zero zero one four percent, and the voltage, the 0 0.2 volts, is 0 0.2 uh, watts up there across eight ohms is meaningless. <clears throat> so that's what we start with, and uh, we end up with all of these fairly high IMD intermodulation distortion products, and. Uh, and these types of hideous things over here, I mean, some of it makes sense. To me, this makes sense. That, that's the purity of our two signals going in. We can't argue that. That looks pretty darn good. Um, but as we run it through an amplifier, it's pretty nasty. And uh, it, it doesn't, it just doesn't seem, it seems to be too high. And uh, so I must be doing something wrong. You guys tell me what you think. So I'll stop right there and back off. I really have a, just a, an overwhelming desire to build a, a big triode amplifier. I got some uh, Svetlana 572-160s. They're basically six, I mean, excuse me, they're basically 811As. And a pair of them will give you 150 watts. I got some transformers that I could use it into. I'm just about ready to tackle that thing. 
but uh, it's a little bit insane. Or maybe I want an 810 amplifier. I'm not really sure. I want to build this, another big amplifier. That's just in my blood. But I thought I'd get into this IMD measurement, and now I'm uh, I'm not sure. So what do you think? Thanks for watching. Appreciate uh, your uh, constructive comments.